women that I talk to about my relationship with Nick are like, oh my God, that's amazing. Like, I'm so jealous. Yes, absolutely. You just don't have a good conception of my relationship with Nick, which is fine. No, but... it's probably not that. It's that she doesn't have a good concept of what a healthy relationship looks like. That's the That's issue. also probably true. I don't think a healthy relationship looks like your husband doing the dishes. No. Why I can't that men that's do that's chores? Bad. Just because your dad is too lazy to actually help her. It's on obviously a, doesn't he, Okay, single... so Kyla, he fucking listens to you when you tell him what you're uncomfortable with, and that's a healthy. No, in fact, I'm pretty. Relationship. So I'm he doing fucking listens a bulk to me. Of the work. No, Nick literally said, since you're doing a lot of the working right now, and I'm like still mated with our website generation, I'm gonna pick up and doing more of the chores so that you're just freed up to do more school because I'm doing school at the same time, so that I'm freed up to do school and work at the same time. He's right. so you're the man of the house, the and he's supporting you. Do you think most women want that from a man? Uh, honestly, yeah, I think a lot of women would be super happy with a guy who's willing to contribute a lot. With a guy who's submissive, chores. who does the chores and listens when you tell you're them that you're uncomfortable. That into my you're just implying a bunch you of You said he fucking listens to you. You said he fucking listens to you. Somebody doesn't you make said submissive. No, and you said when I tell him I'm uncomfortable You said when I tell him I'm uncomfortable You said when I tell him I'm uncomfortable with something, he fucking listens. You don't Yeah, because he's healthy and normal. Also, yes. I'm sorry. Hold on. I'm, I'm sorry, no. God, because you're no, no. Everything you're saying is so stupid. Part of being dominant, part of the most important thing, especially sexually, is listening. How fucking stupid are you that you think that like, especially even BDSM relationships where there's a subdom relationship, listening is the most important thing that you do as a dominant person. But what do you what do you, what do you envision these listen, are? She means follows orders. She dominates him. They're partners, right? He's not the man in in charge of her. You're just right? assuming that about my relationship. Yeah, yeah, you have no idea, idea about But you just said that. You just said he right. listens to you sorry. and he I does the chores. Okay, how, is that really, a, how is that a dominant man? For a second. I, can, Alex, can you turn up my mic? Apparently I'm really, really soft and everyone else is I can, I I can turn you up, yeah. You're already yeah, actually up mostly all the way, but yeah, you're actually up yeah, I'm, 100%. I'm always really soft on stream yards. I, I don't want to go too much into your stuff, Grace, but just to be clear, me mm -hmm. and Nick have a really healthy, happy marriage and relationship. It's totally fine if it's not the one that you want. I wouldn't put it on anyone necessarily. Well, why did you open it up? Wait, hold on. Grace opened it up by attacking a relationship like 15 different times. No, That's not what I asked. No, he's trying to imply that we opened our relationship. We didn't open our relationship. Oh. Well, I mean... Yeah, you said you did, and then he closed it back up after experimenting no. with it. Yeah, that's what you said. No, we said we were opening it up in a way that, like, super Christian monogamous people would feel that it's open. Uh, uh, really? In what way was yeah. that? That we're, like, open to, like, flirting and, like, like flirting around with people. That's a Christian principle to flirt with other women? <laughs> Yeah, that's totally fine. Flirting is like handshakes. Uh, flirting. It's not a and so flirting, in, in, just because you hold on. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's back up. Out. Let's back up. Let's that's back up. I want to make sure. I want to make sure I get this right. Okay. So your yes, ground let's rules. Let's put my marriage on. 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 So your hang on. So your ground oh, rules. Your ground rules were not that you were able to have like a sexual profile of yourself out there on a website at all. You weren't. You weren't uh, advertising yeah, no, yourself that way. Yeah. That was totally fine. That yeah, was the that was Christian that was Christian values not so erudite. Tell me how that's a Christian value. Uh, I want to hear. I it. I don't view God in this like weird Eastern Orthodox repressive way where I just yeah, make well, up my what, own well, theology. What Protestant would agree with this? What Catholic would agree with this? Care. What Christian denomination would agree with this? I don't care. You chain smoke and, and drug and drink all day. What Christian yeah, would yeah. agree with any of those behaviors? The Orthodox would be fine with it. The Catholics would be fine with it. The Protestants no, they wouldn't. would be they fine with alcohol and no. smoking. None of no, them are upset about it. No, they're not. Tell they're me which ones aren't. Not. Tell me which ones aren't. Protestants, Catholics, and Eastern Orthodox. No, they're fine. Broken, Eastern Orthodox drink, drink and no. smoke constantly. Catholics drink and smoke constantly. Protestants drink and smoke constantly. You have no idea what the fuck but you're talking about. Tell me which one of their values. Now, now tell me which one of their values sin. for ethics, though. Drinking isn't a support sin. You, support you putting yourself out there uh, on you know, a, pro a private site in an, and saying you have an open relationship, you're experimenting with an open relationship. Can you give me any form of Christian ethics which would ever support that ever? Yeah, if you look up in the book of Exodus, there's a whole passage about, you know, opening your relationship. Song of Solomon was super into it as well. Yeah, send it to you me have a totally so that we can take a look. I want to hear. Hang on. What is this? Tell me where it is. Exodus and Song of Solomon. Go look for it. Exodus what? Just go look for it. Yeah, go look. Mm -hmm.